Welcome to EAUC. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Coldwater, Michigan, USA, Dan the Beast Saber. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Golden. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. something in the weather. They're escaping the snow yeah. to go inside the Bell Center. And once they're there, they're doing all those other things, John. They're drinking the beer. They're taking in the great fights, and they are cheering as loud as they can. They want to be heard. They make themselves a part of the competition, and the fighters love it. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Sever. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big punch land. Ooh. Severn gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight, and both guys really throwing with authority. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Misses again with a right punch. Sever gets caught with that punch. Try to establish that jab. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Tags him with the left. Good stick. Just misses with the right. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Sever gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Ooh, big shot land. Well, clean, tight combination there. Plus right hand is true. Trying to establish that jab once again. Severn's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just missed with the straight left hand. Final seconds here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right punches there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, okay, listen up. You've been here before, all right? That was nothing. You ready to fight? Ready? All right, round two. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body.
Ever gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice move and stick there. We talked a lot about sticking and moving, but slipped that offering and then countered with a punch of his own. I guess it pays to be the longer fighter. At least it certainly did there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Uppercut lands for him. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Doing a nice job putting it all together. Oh, and he caught the kick. Left hand punch the clinch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at the turtle in that kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Just misses there with the left. Now connects with the right. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Severn. Doubles up on the jab. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice punch there by Severn. Oh. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. They continue to exchange. He loaded up on that right hand, too. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Big body kick. Missed with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. fight here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your chest. All right, round three coming up next. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination. 
and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Hold on. It's nothing. It's nothing. We've been knocked down before. You can pull this one out. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well done. Oh. oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. The finish could come here at any time. Can't take any of those. You better check. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Got clipped with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Real nice body kick lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at oh. him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big punch land. Severed. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. What a punch. Just misses with the jet. And he landed the right hand there. Missed with that attempt. Connects with a right. Sneaky head kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice punch land. Oh. Punch is blocked. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Hands on your face. Back and forth we go. Out of range with that one. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. But just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout.
And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan the Beast.